Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we are making the incredible Mississippi roast. Famously, one of the most delicious roasts you'll ever taste. If this is your first time on our channel, we believe sharing homemade food spreads joy and touches lives. And we'll show you how to make delicious dishes you can proudly share with your friends and family. Like our version of the Mississippi roast that's meltingly tender and packed full of flavor. With a zip of tanginess from the pepperoncinis, it's so easy to pull together with just a handful of simple ingredients and your slow cooker. Here's a quick look at our ingredients and you'll find the entire recipe in the description box below. First, trim up a boneless chuck roast. This one weighs about four pounds. Look for fresh meat with a bright red color and lots of marbling for great flavor and tenderness. I try to trim off a good amount of the fat so that there's less to worry about at the end of cooking. Then pat the roast dry with paper towels and sprinkle with salt and pepper. We have new videos every week. Subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we've posted a new recipe. Heat about two tablespoons of olive oil in a large cast iron skillet over high heat, and then add the roast and sear it on all sides. This will really only take about three or four minutes per side. And browning the roast will give it a nice depth of flavor and this delicious caramelized top. Once the roast is seared, place it into your slow cooker and then sprinkle a package of zesty Italian salad dressing over the roast. Pour the entire 16 ounce jar of pepperoncini peppers, the liquid and the peppers, over the roast. The peppers add a zesty flavor and the vinegar from the brine really helps tenderize the beef and balance out the richness. Top the roast with about a half a cup of unsalted butter. I cut mine into pats and then spread it across the top of the roast. Then just cover and cook on low for about seven or eight hours until the roast is very tender. Once it's ready, remove the beef from the crock pot. The roast turns out so incredibly tender. <laughs> Look how tender this is. It's falling apart and it's so full of flavor after cooking low and slow in the crock pot. Today I'm serving this delicious Mississippi roast with crispy smashed red potatoes. It's also super amazing with mashed potatoes or egg noodles. And if you're lucky enough to have any leftovers, Mississippi Pot Roast makes an incredible sandwich. I like mine served on crusty rolls topped with a provolone or a mozzarella cheese. Thank you so much for watching our channel. When you watch, comment, and share our videos, it helps other people find us and your support means so much to us. If you love to entertain, Check out our playlist of dessert recipes and potluck favorites. They're all simple to make and I guarantee they taste incredible. Remember to subscribe before you leave so you know when we've posted a new recipe. And here's some more great recipes I think you'll like. I'll see you in the next video.